Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another cross out video. Sorry for your kind of spamming you guys with update stuff and this and that, blah blah blah. But the update is live officially now, so there is no server maintenance that it says at the moment. But I'm sure something will come up, who knows. Um, for right now, everything is out. Um, in the shop tab, there is no premium battle pass yet. They said they released that on the 19th. So... Basically, we have like an entire like 12 hours because for them, it's like, I forget what it was. I will show you guys in the update notes, but I was looking at the arena mode and uh, I was clicking on their rewards and I was like, huh, that's pretty cool. So you can unlock as you progress in the arena mode, you unlock better builds, emblems, this cool, this cool crate that includes whoop, a bunch of uh, CKs. Which is pretty neat. Um, I honestly am very impressed with this update. I love what's here. Um, that just keeps going through this little battle pass where you unlock better cars, better parts. Um, honestly, some of these builds aren't bad. Like, I kind of expected that. That's super cool. The wheel CK. I really want those. Those are so cool. Um, it's one I've been looking at for a long time. And then you get blueprints too. That's pretty cool. A work piece. Um, all these vehicles are unique in one way or another. Super cool. 5,000 experience points for the Season Pass Gladiators. That's pretty cool. You get some stickers and you continue to move up through um, the Battle Pass. You get some coupons, more stuff. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a pyre build. Ha. Huh. So shoot it in that side. But, uh, yeah, all of these are super cool and they go all the way up to legendaries. Like, look at that thing. That's pretty cool. Triple Whirls. That's pretty slick. How uh, that's built. Elephant, that's pretty cool. And it is mounted on the humpback, so it should be a pretty sturdy build. Of course they would put this in there. <laughs> One of the builds that I hate. A kaiju, that's pretty cool. I don't know why they did this because the game mode caters to stuff like this and this and this. Rush builds. But it's pretty cool. And then you get a beholder workpiece. So uh, obviously it's a craft item. So that's pretty cool. You get more destructor. So if you don't have destructor, um, these are destructor craft pieces, which I think is super cool. You get badges throughout the whole thing. Ooh, la, la, la. Super awesome. Super love that a lot. And then we have the actual battle pass. Um, I was going through this and I was looking. So you get one of these um, AC-62 storms or therm, whatever that is, auto cannons. You get one, right? And it's fused. So, then you go through your battle pass here, blah, 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 get some CKs, the pop-up headlights, and you get here, right? Level 10. Now you get two more of these suckers. That's three. That's as much as you can have. So they're giving away three fused items, and they are four energy a pop, so you can do three with equipment, with a, obviously a epic or, you know, a decent rare cab, but uh, that is pretty crazy. And then you get, of course, all of this stuff, stickers, skins, coupons. Coin, I wish the coin was a little more. I'm super excited for the piercer um, skin. This looks, oh, I messed that one up. This looks awesome. Super stoked for this. Like, that looks freaking cool. I wish they made more stuff that looked like, that's almost like Terminator-esque in my personal opinion. Um, then we have this thing. I'm super excited for this, the trombone. Um, I watched JB Rider use it earlier. I like again, wish I could get in on some of that early content stuff, so all these guys beat me to it, but whatever. I'm not I'm not breathing enough when I'm I'm excited guys. Sorry. But uh these guys are our pure support weapon. These are fused, so that's explosion rays and projectile speed. So I mean imagine having, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. That's crazy. That's eight. Imagine having eight of these things with three rockets in each one. Yeah, do some kind of damage, right? I think it'd be cool to watch. Um, more coupons. I don't really care for the building supplies, but yeah. And then you get more BPs for it. What is this? This is an unfused. And what is this? Trombone blueprint workpiece. Huh. So you get the blueprint to craft it and then you get four work pieces. Huh. Then you get your CK here. 
This thing I thought was awesome. Get some triggers, and then you get the flywheel, so that's cool. And it isn't fused, so it's gonna be easier for people to craft, which I think is pretty nice. Um, thresher workpiece, and I don't, okay, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't know what the difference between a workpiece is and a blueprint. What's the difference? You craft both of them. I don't know. Somebody tell me down in the comments because I'm a ding dong, I guess. Um, then you have your CK trump card. <laughs> I wonder if they just named it that. I don't know why they would name it that. It, it, honestly, it looks like the growl cabin to me, but I guess it's for the quantum cabin, which is pretty odd, but that's that. Okay. And these guys, the SD15 Vulture. I can't imagine kids aren't going to be launching these with cap cans, the electric cap cans. These are going to be an absolute nuisance. I think they're overpowered as can be. Um, not excited for these. But they're here, so I guess we'll embrace it. Everybody's going to be using them. I mean, you can literally have four of these on a build. And they shoot two drones in each salvo. Gross. I was reading stats. But uh, yeah, guys. And then we have the work pieces. I'm excited for this CK because I do have a spark. I think it looks pretty cool. Then we get on to here, the legendary cabin that everybody is super stoked for that is probably going to be game breaking for a lot of cannon and reload builds. I know what I'm going to do with it, but I don't know about you guys. Sounds super lame and this fused. I am excited for this too, the Griffin workpiece. I'll be able to craft these, even though I don't really craft legendaries, but I'll be working towards crafting this. I wish there was like a cohort and some other ones. But there's not. And then, of course, you get your storage expansions and your blueprint, which you're probably going to need with all these new blueprints you're going to be crafting, which is pretty cool. And you got your sign for your garage. And then you get your coin at the end of the battle pass. So, yeah, guys, that's kind of an overlook on the battle pass. And we're going to jump straight into Microsoft Edge and check this out as well. Always have to refresh, so real quick, let's go back here. Jump into my news here. Jump into the update. Go down here. This is what I missed. Oop. This is six minutes long. To make good coffee. I don't know how to make this go away. First, you have to choose the right beans. I like to pour more of them. We need coffee that's very finely ground. We put it on fire. We watch how it starts to boil. A good sense of timing is essential in getting the result you want. And if you did everything right, you'll be rewarded. After all, it's the risk that gives a flavour to life, isn't it? And if you want to stay alive, you'll enter the arena again, my friend. Greetings, survivors. I'm scared for you. Ever since that cursed arena has opened its doors, even the strongest brothers and sisters are at risk of not returning to their hangars. Did you see that guy with the coffee? If you refuse to enter the arena, do not expect mercy from him. I'll show you Please mercy. welcome a new large-scale crossout update, Steel Gladiators. Alrighty guys, so that's what all I missed, that is what I kind of wanted to show you in that. But we're going to go over the crossout notes, um, or the update notes for the Xbox. Um, if you guys don't want to watch this, I will definitely add, or figure out how to add timestamps to uh, this video in particular, because it's going to be kind of long, it's probably going to be almost a 20 minute video, but you know, if you want to listen, you stick around, if not, you know, watch what you please. And I'm going to be reading pretty much everything, unless it's lore, I don't really care to read that, but... Jumping right into it, Xbox Crossout 1.0123 Steel Gladiators. Created. Hey, 
Trust your fate and enter the arena. Prove that you are the best fighter in the wasteland and pave your way to glory. In this update, you can expect a new mode, arena, a new season, and battle pass. A new relic weapon, as well as a number of important bug fixes and changes. So this is the event. Obviously, we just watched that. The arena mode. So, attention, this mode will be available and exclusive. Oh. Wait, what? Will be available until March 20th and exclusive. So, Arena PvP. Arena is a PvP mode that puts individuals and team playing skills to the test. This mode is available from reputation level 7 with the Engineer's Faction. Battles take place on maps designed specifically for this mode. So, we got Power Center, City Pond, and Defense Line. Um, the battles are held in a 3v3 format. So, again, guys, I don't know if you guys remember Team Doubles from Modern Warfare 2. And uh, Modern Warfare 3, I think it was not Modern Warfare 2, sorry. It's Modern Warfare 3, but it's Team Doubles. You can do duos and trios, and you would put, put into, there's three maps where you would essentially kill the other guys. And it was like Search and Destroy and Team Deathmatch and, uh, what's that, what's that, Kill Confirm. And it was so much fun. My friends and I played the crap out of it, and that's exactly what this honestly looks like to me. So I'm super stoked about it. I will be making some content on this as well. I'm probably going to be making too much content for those of you guys who are just like, oh, you're annoying. Um, I hope that's not the case, but I am super excited for this game mode. Anyway, the battles are held in a 3v3 format. You can enter the game mode as a group or part on your own. In the second case, you will join a team of two random players. The first team of to win three rounds out of a maximum of five wins. Sick. If the winner is not determined within the time allotted for the round, a deadly zone appears around the perimeter of the arena, which gradually narrows the arrow or the area available for battles. And what's that? And what that is is so when the the narrowing area um, is fire, so it literally lights up on fire, and it's like a big bowl, and it's like a battle royale, and it just closes in on you. And it's uh, I watched the video on it. I'm sure you guys did too, or looked something up on it. It looks so cool. Um, if the player leaves the battle before it is over. A raider is added to the team instead. That's kind of cool, so you don't really, you don't get screwed over. Um, before entering the arena, you can select up to three card blueprints in advance, similar to clan battles. These can be your own armored cars as well as those that you've unlocked as rewards. The vehicles can be changed at the beginning of each and next round. Um, sorry guys, it's probably annoying to sit this on the floor here. The use of explosives, fuel tanks, barrels, and the tusk cavern is prohibited in these assemblies. Use of explosives. So we'll take a further look at that when we get back to the actual game and uh, see what they mean by explosives. Because I'm wondering if they're talking about like uh, lances and stuff like that. Obviously, fuel tanks, barrels, and the tusk cabin is noticeable. Um, or we all understand what those are. Um, these two modes are that are uh, the, there are two modes available to you in arena and arena rating. Attention: the first week of the event is set up as a warm up during which only the arena mode will be available. The raiding mode will launch on February 24th and will be, and it will end on March 14th. That's kind of cool. I'm, yeah, I'm not really bummed. Honestly, that's cool. In the standard arena mode, players are matched according to their vehicle power score. The system takes into account the vehicle with the highest power score value out of the three that you choose. In the raiding mode, um, the matchmaking is based on your current rating score. The number of points affects your position in the leaderboard for each. The gold and silver and bronze leagues players will receive appropriate backgrounds and emblems for their customizations as well as memorable decorations that will symbolize their skills and not and will not be available to other players. Golden League Championship, Silver League Championship, and Bronze League Championship. Both standard or uh, yeah, both standard and rating modes are available in the corresponding tabs after pressing the select mode button in the garage screen or via the special event banners. All players have access to these special arena rewards which are given for achieving the next level. The arena rewards and the new season seasonal battle pass rewards are separate things and are earned independently. Arena levels can be increased with, with points which are awarded for completing daily challenges related to the mode as well as for each victory of your team in the mode both in the standard version and in the ranked version there are 36 levels in arena rewards they put a lot of and maybe they haven't maybe this was super easy for them but to me this feels like they put a lot of 
time into this update because creating an entire separate game mode that's not just like essentially raid based is pretty exciting. There's new maps, there's new cars, there's pre-builds, there's a whole basically battle pass for doing arena mode, which that's pretty cool to me. It's just, you know, like hands down, dude, like props. These guys, this is pretty cool. Um, among the already familiar rewards, the arena rewards also include ready-made armored vehicles, which can be used in the, only in the mode during the event. Uh, this will also help those players who have just joined the game and don't have a lot of parts yet, which will also be cool because people will get to experience, you know, um, those parts on those higher tier vehicles that they don't have yet, so they can kind of get a feel for like, I like this weapon, this is something I could work towards. Or, you know, I don't like this weapon, it's not for me, I'm going to try something else. But uh, yeah, Battle Pass levels experience points that are sufficient to raise the current season level by one. So here we get down to Steel Gladiator season. This is a lot, guys. So like I said, this is probably going to be like a 20 minute or so video. Um, as you can see, my little cursor is right here and we have all of this to go. Um, there are 54 levels with rewards in the event. Leveling up in the event will unlock new rewards. If the player has a Battle Pass, 20 in-game coins are rewarded for levels from 55 and above okay so that's that's normal and then so right here work pieces are work pieces of the new parts from the season as well as parts from the previous season you can find and use the received work pieces in the resource tab in your storage so work pieces remain in your storage forever they can be used at any time even after the season ends recipes for part production attention these recipes will only be available temporarily during the current season once, okay, so if I don't craft that beholder, I don't have it. Once it is completed, the parts recipe will be unavailable. Elements for the banner customization, 100 in-game coins. This is just okay. Players who have bought and purchased the battle pass may receive the following additional rewards. Parts that have been crafted before. Please note that, the, that such parts are already issued with certain upgrades and cannot be sold bought on the market. Four new CKs, in-game coins, cosmetic items, paint skins, stickers, holograms, new decoration. So this is kind of just what's in it. Um, rewards marked with the lock icon are only available in the battle pass. So please note, during the season all new parts including their fused versions can be crafted in unlimited quantities. Permanent recipes will be available. As new levels of the season are gained, all players discover and receive additional one-time recipes. The work pieces of new parts during the season, you can get several work pieces for each new part at once. Once the season is over, permanent recipes will become unavailable, but you'll still have your work pieces. They can be used whenever you want. Um, the work pieces are added to the storage, the resource tab, K, okay, they already said that. Event level up. You can increase your level in the event by completing. Okay, we all know how the battle passes work. That's what this is. Just by completing your daily challenges and then your weekly challenges, which are refreshed obviously every day and every week. Um, so these are the new parts. So as we know, the auto cannon, the AC62. But you get three of those suckers. Um, power score 760. Not bad. Not terrible durability. Um, oh, that that's probably before for you. So. You're, probably looking at like 205 durability fuse. Energy drain, not bad. Super light. Um, super cool. Um, the rocket launcher. So these guys, 550 power score, 8 volleys. And as your base reload, no durability. Holy buckets. If you build a build out of these, it better be sneaky. Um, the longer the rockets are in flight, the better their maneuverability gets. So that's kind of cool. Um, then we have the vulture. I hate this thing so much. So this thing has 12 pieces, 1600 power score. That should be like 2000. Are you kidding me? This thing's gonna be a seal club and son of a gun with the Jukabo. Not a lot of durability. Thank you. Um, let's see, perk. The drone deals periodic damage to the part that it is attached to, and that's before it even detonates. A sabotage drone is created by the notepads. Okay, I don't wanna read that, that's lore. And then we've all seen this cabin, the hard, hard what, Hadron? Hadron? Hardron? Hadron? It's Hadron. It's got to be. Anyway, this guy's going to be a huge contender. Not crazy mass, but obviously you get it in the battle pass and in this view, so you have a higher mass limit. Um, this is going to be an awesome mass cabin. Perk decreases the reloading time of all weapons by 15%, then stacks it and distributes it 
equally between all weapons except revolvers. The distribution cannot speed up the reloading time more than 40%. As you guys all saw in the video, they did Scorpions with the Kingslayer. Um, it made quite a difference. I I think it's there's going to be a lot of broken um, exploits with it, but I will probably be one of those people looking into it because this is going to be a cabin for not only reload base, but cannons. This will be a savior for cannons, if I'm being honest. Um, the new CK is we have the Piercer one, which we've all seen, and then you have the Spark, which I am going to be rocking, and then you have the Quantum Growler cabin. I wonder if you can actually see in that little hole. But uh, And then we have the Humpback cabin, and then the Elite Battle Pass pack. So this is going to tell us what's in it. Provides additional access to the season for Steel Gladiators. Upon purchasing this pack, the player gains 15 levels to his current progress in the event. All additional battle pass rewards already received levels are automatically made available. The pack can only be purchased once. So if you buy this pack, you will instantly get all three of those jewels or the, the little storms, AC-62s or whatever the heck they are. You'll get all three of those and some extra stuff. That's pretty cool. And then you have the regular battle pass pack, provides additional access, same thing. Upon purchasing this pack, the player gains one level to his current progress. This is an entry level battle pass, so if you purchase this, you can play through the battle pass and complete it well before the, the, the time frame that they give you. Um, both items will be available starting February 19th until April 27th. So, we have two days, they didn't give us an exact time, just date. So I'm assuming midnight, tomorrow night. Um, it's weird that they wouldn't just do it the day of the release of the battle pass. Why Why take the time? Um, I don't know. So maps. The amount of places where players' cars could potentially get stuck in the environment objects has been reduced. Environmental objects have been improved on the following map. So I'm guessing this is now our update notes. Let's get rid of that. So control station 17, bridge, dead highway, El Diablo George and Sector X. A number of environmental objects on the fortress map have been improved. So parts. New relic weapon, disc launcher. I would <laughs> I would love to try this thing. There's a lot of questions I have that um, watching JV Rider's video, I didn't really see um, anything. I don't watch Mr. G's videos just because eh, I don't. But I uh I don't know. I, I would love to see um, more of this weapon. And this weapon is not a part of the season pass. Wouldn't that be wicked? Um, Steel Gladiators. It cannot be received for leveling up or purchasing through the battle pass. Like all of the relic weapons, the Ripper can only be crafted in the engineer workbench. So we'll go look at that too, just to see what it takes um, before. But just get temporarily stuck in environmental objects and deal increased collision upon damage. So it's got pretty good stats. Not crazy, Dura. Um, obviously, if you fuse it, well, you're not going to be fusing. I don't know. Okay, I shouldn't say that. People fuse relics. I don't know why. I don't foresee myself being able to afford that. Um, other stuff. So, this is interesting. So, mine layer capcan and jubico. Mine cables are now cut if an environmental object which can break the cable is located between the player and the mine. That's cool. Um, defense module, Ar Argus. Um, the module now primarily attacks mines on the ground, Capcan King, as well as Ripper Discs. That's pretty cool. Tracks. Now the traction of tracks is not reduced on the surface covered with water. That's pretty cool. Um, interface updates. Now improved mission icons on the world map. Now we'll take a look at that stuff too. Um, now when you move the mouse or cursor over armored vehicle blueprints, a special window of a special window with a list of parts used in that blueprint is shown. Um, that was a thing before. We'll, we'll take a look at that too. Um, now when selecting several armored vehicles for game modes, the list of blueprints displays special icons, ones that have already been added and the ones that cannot be added with an explanation. That's very nice. Improved screen. And improve the screen for selecting an armored vehicle in clan battles. Arena mode. Now players can see allied armored vehicles as well as blueprints that they have in stock. So that's pretty cool. You can see your buddies. Um, bad news from the arena. So this is added new special garage tracks for the Steel Gladiator season. Updated the sounds of the machine gun cord. Optimized the sounds for the Iron Cannon Jewel. Added unique sound effects for the Trump Card CK. Um, improve the reload time. Oh, reload sound of the weapon pulsar. Improve engineer badge exchange sound. 
Okay. Updated the sounds of the barrel and mine explosions. Uh, implemented a number of minor changes in balance of the sound effects. And then this, we get down here to the MISC. So now the 14th scope of the Bulldog co-driver increases the damage of all rocket launchers. Cool. Uh, improved the front part of the physical model, the Dead Man Cabin. Okay. Other parts can now be mounted close to the cabin's front. That's going to help a lot. I'm going to go check that out. Um, improve visual appearance of the generator PU1 charge. Improve decoration idle of death. Improve visual modules of recharge boosters. Um, bug fixes. We have a few of these. So, fix the bug when a player could add a Leviathan into an armored car slot. Did you guys know about this? That would be awesome. Fix the bug that caused the armored vehicles to twitch during movement on certain configurations. Fix the bug where the adventure mode was there was an opportunity to get inside the event. Okay, I don't know how many of you guys care about this. Let's see that this one looks interesting. Fix the bug where the trigger, destructor, and spark through weapons could twitch when the car was turning. Fix the bug where the animations of the dead man cabin and rechargers just began to launch when shooting the Skinner harpoon rather than during its reload. <laughs> Fix the bug where destructible objects installed on the range could be destroyed without any interaction with the player or guests. And improved a number of in game contexts. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Cross Out if we didn't already get kicked out. I'm sure we did, and then you guys can catch my game freezing five different times. Sometimes it doesn't do it. God, I hope it doesn't do it for the sanity of the people watching this video because it is long. And myself. Come on, let me in, let me in, let me in. Come on, don't freeze on me. Sweet. Okay, so they changed the number of the icons in here, they said, in the map mode. Um, this is arena, so you can add your vehicles here, which is pretty cool. Okay, your armored car score is no more than that. So yeah, so there's the boomstick and Lancelot. So, and this just shows what's in your vehicle. That's pretty cool. So your reward receives 1,160 units of quick I didn't do any of this. Anyway, okay, clans, later boards. I don't see any changes in the world map stuff um storage there was uh, with the dead man dead die man so they changed the mounting points oh see okay so you can see the mounting points on the front there so that's changed um pu1 chart pretty sure i have that they changed it cosmetically no i want to look at this Looks the same to me. Maybe it's just more realistic y looking. Because, I don't know, that looks good to me. Um, ma, 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 ma. And then we got a change on something else that I didn't even. I don't remember. Pretty sure I had it in my inventory. I don't even know. I don't even know what the heck it was. There was a few things, a few visual changes. matters um shoot well so that is that guys um for the cross out update and just to show you guys as well for those of you who don't know but this is the seasonal challenges for the battle pass so as you can see here's your timer kind of tells you when you got five days on that one five days on that one and then your dailies which are every 16 hours it looks like and these ones these are all hefty damn if you do all these man you're gonna be cooking through that battle pass so the first 15 levels gets you to your hundred coin gets you this the hologram and the jewels and then you'll start to really get into the stuff that you're probably looking forward to i'm looking forward to anyway i would love to try these um once this stuff actually does come out and i get the battle pass more complete i will definitely get you guys some more videos on this stuff um this cabin as well but yeah guys i think i've kind of gone over everything that i think 
we needed. Um, one thing, oh, I was, I don't even know why, I'm not going over that because I already read it to you. The cross out update will not be, or the battle passes will not be here. But, yeah guys, that is everything in this Steel Gladiators update. I hope you guys are still enjoying my videos. I'm sorry this was a long one, but I will see you guys in the next one. See you later.